All right, I just landed here in Montreal and I'm going to catch the 747 bus. Looks like it's $10 for a 24 hour ticket that goes back and forth to the airport and all over the place by the looks of it, so that's pretty reasonable. All right, I'm just walking over to the 747 bus now to head to downtown Montreal. Should be good. So I'm only gonna be here for about five hours or so, but enough to see some of the main sights of the city before I head back to the airport to fly to Europe for a week, which is my next little goal on my to-do list for my summer. I'm very thankful that the Canadian government opened up the borders to fully vaccinated travelers. So I'm definitely looking to get back into the air internationally after a very long eight month hiatus. I'm in the metro station now, catching the subway. I'm definitely glad to be back in Montreal. It's been about, oh, eight years since I was here, so far too long. But I'm um, looking forward to a good three to four hours, depending on how this goes, of uh, sightseeing before I have to head back to the airport to fly to Germany and then onward to Romania for the week. station. I'm just going to walk a few blocks now towards Old Montreal, the first stop on my very quick sightseeing tour of the city this afternoon. I've made it down here into old Montreal. Uh, this is the Church of Bon Secours, which is right next to the market, right over there on the corner. But yeah, this is more, I guess, a business industrial part, but we're getting right into the thick of old Montreal at this point. Anyway, don't have a lot of time, so I'm not gonna spare too much. Drifter Dave coming to you from old Montreal. Beautiful summer day today and a lot to see and do around here. Absolutely incredible old architecture. All right, this is Place Jacques Cartier. And I believe the city hall is down here somewhere. But yeah, beautiful little plaza. Perfect for a stroll on a nice July afternoon. Definitely bustling, even though it is Thursday. And I'm pretty sure that is the City Hall of Montreal. Yeah, it's somewhat touristy though. You got your ice cream shops in every corner, but it is still charming. Not as charming as Quebec City, but it'll do. If you ever have a chance to get down to Montreal, definitely worth seeing. There's lots to do here. It would take me two or three days to do the city justice. 
not just three or four hours. So unfortunately, I won't see too much. So bear that in mind when you comment below. Uh, this is not intended to be a full tour of Montreal by any stretch. This is just a short layover between flights. I'll see what I can in three hours and that's about it. So there are some obvious signs of history here. You can see that old advertisement, Edifice Le Sauvage Garde, the insurance V, so life insurance advertisement from the early 1900s. Very cool. And a very, very scaffolded Hotel de Ville, so City Hall right here. Absolutely scaffolded though, it must be going some major restoration. I'm gonna try to head down to the river. Here's the Place uh, Jacques Cartier Memorial. But you can't really see him though from this angle. All right, heading down towards the river. So it looks like we got a bunch of food trucks and everything else set up here in the old port. I'm gonna go check that out, and there is the massive old port building. So the Notre Dame Basilica is about 400 meters south here. Yeah. I guess it would be west, actually, uh, down this street. So I'm gonna head to that next. Yes, yeah, a lot of uh, food trucks here. Coming up with a Ferris wheel now in the distance. Montreal smoked meat. Yeah, I'm not that hungry though, unfortunately. All right, I am coming up to the Notre Dame Basilica here in downtown Montreal. It's best viewed from the front, head on. Looks very similar to the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, albeit smaller. So as you can see, we're leaving old Montreal now and entering the more modern part of downtown. This is kind of the last road of old Montreal before we get into like the banking district right here. There's the Bank of Montreal headquarters which is a major bank in Canada for those who aren't aware. All right, crossing. quickly cross the road here and head into this small little plaza. Maison Neuve is the statue. You can see right here. It's a pretty large space. So that is the Basilica of Notre Dame. So this is a pretty amazing little plaza right in front of the Notre Dame Basilica. And you can see these Art Deco buildings right next to the statue of Maison Neuve, 1642. And the stunning Notre Dame Basilica of Montreal. It is four o'clock on the dot, so I have three hours till my plane is wheels up in the air which means I gotta be heading back within one hour to get back to the airport in time for boarding. But I've enjoyed my stroll here. It's been about two hours since I arrived in downtown Montreal. I'll have about one more to go before I have to head back. It's definitely not my preference to be rushing through such amazing scenery here, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, layovers are good because they're free, so. This saves me a trip from having to pay, you know, the $600 to get out here to Montreal to 
sightsee and I got to experience just a bit of the city at least. I'm making a bridged short little taste of vlog for y'all. I'm sure I'll be back in the future, but for now, definitely enjoying a stroll around one of Canada's finest cities. Heading back over to the metro station up here. This is the massive convention center. And just like that, it is over. I gotta rush back to the airport at this point. Uh, it's just too risky to miss a flight to Europe, so heading back.